what it takes to, to, to voice that show. And how, I mean, I'll never, I have said in your absence many times, I have an amazing amount of respect for the people that did that show because it what hard. it requires physically, vocally is insane. But um, whenever we record Broly for any DBC games or anything, Chris is very kind about it. He's like, all right, you know what? Give me 10 minutes of, of bloody larynx tearing, flesh ripping, screaming, and then we'll take a break and let it calm down a little bit. I just, so, I feel so sorry because really, Nobody should have to go through that torture. Like no one, I, no one should have to go through that sort of torture. And Vic is not necessarily an actor who's known that you don't go. Hmm. I need someone who's going to just scream constantly. I think. I think I'm going to call in Vic for that. But unfortunately, Vic, ironically enough, got cast on the one character who screams all the time. Like, all of Broly's lines in the video games, like, everyone else has lines like, you know, check out my Super Saiyan strength, or whatever. All of his are just like, <laughs> All of his lines. And then, and it hurts my soul when he's saying them to him. He's doing it, and the engineer and I are both going, oh, God. That one's gonna hurt. <laughs> but I'm, it's interesting that you find that one of your favorite voices. That's cool. Anyone else want to answer? Um, there, I like a lot of them. You know, it feels weird. Like every, I'm sure everyone says this that it's like you know choosing your favorite child or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I guess if I had to choose, I would say Nero from Devil May Cry. <laughs> I mean, it was just my natural voice, but uh, I think the thing that made it maybe more one of my favorite roles, I guess, is is because it was a script, and so I wasn't like like if I'm I'm doing a voicing like Ichigo, it's animated and basically I have to do exactly what the picture shows. It's cry and cry, scream, scream, whatever, right? But with uh, Devil May Cry, it was, I had a script and I got to create all of that. I got to say, oh, this is a good moment for him to scream or cry or whatever. So that, it just felt like, I wasn't limited to anything, my picture or whatever. And so, my favorite. Um, since I don't have a favorite, I'll just give three and the reason why. Ryder Luke from Legend of the Legendary Heroes, because it's my own voice and I got to play the most with that. Uh, thank you. And I would say Chuck was crazy hard in Penny and Stalking because he just, they would just say, they would, it would just say like, random chucking for three minutes, and so I'd get two passes at it. And then honestly, Brooke has ended up being my It's because genuinely, it's the hardest role I've had, and, and it's, 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 it's just really hard and therefore rewarding, and, and I really like it. So it's fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a voice that I've never stopped doing, and it's still Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. Just, but I also really love uh, Kuwabara and Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah! You did that stupid boy. <laughs> I don't get to play stupid guys very often. The guys I end up playing are usually like really tough and always take their shirt off or like <laughs> blow up people with the fire that shoots out of their hands and stuff. This guy was just kind of dorky. I like him. And Garter Bell. Um, I like uh, Natsu. My throat doesn't like him. <laughs> Sometimes those screams are seven That's seconds long, full, you know, full throttle. Um, but yeah, he's a lot of fun. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten a tattoo of him on me if uh, if I didn't love it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna echo. I believe it was Johnny who said, you know, try to try to pick who's your favorite child. It's it's really it, it's hard to do. I'm proud of both roles that I've done. But Nova is, is the one that's dearest to my heart. It was my first job as an actress, and 34 years after we've done it, the show was only, only on the air for about a year. And all of this, t all this time, I'm finding out there were fans of the show, and every, you know, people just love it, and people are coming up to me with their grandchildren and telling me how much they love the show now. <laughs> so that, 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 would, that would be my answer. 
for the sake of honesty, I need to I need to confess. When I said Broly, I was kidding. Uh, I was being ironic because he terrifies me so much. And everybody knows how much he, you know how much. Okay, because I was like, me. how could you not? There, you missed the most obvious one that yeah, like you could not have loved to play Edward Elric. Like any. Oh, I love yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know what? I played mostly. I played Ed longer than I played anyone else. And so you really develop. A, you understand. You really develop a, a real love and a real connection to characters that you play for a long period of time. So, Ed's definitely the favorite thing I've ever gotten to do. But I, as I always say, uh, a very, very close second place is Tom McKee. Yeah! Uh,